What's going on boys and girls? So before we start, if this video gets 15 likes, I will do a double upload later today. Now I've seen some pretty wild stories about Pokemon Go, especially when the game first launched back in 2016. I'd constantly hear stories about how people were getting into car accidents, walking off of cliffs, even pausing sex just to catch a freaking Geodude. But this story might be the dumbest one of the Pokemon Go saga yet. So for those of you who work a 9 to 5 job and need some context, Pokemon Go is an augmented reality app where you can catch Pokemon in the real world from your smartphone. You can trade, you can battle other players, etc. You guys know what it is. I play it, you play it, your grandmother with no legs somehow plays it even though it requires players to walk in order to hatch in-game eggs and stuff like that, and walking requires a person to have legs. I just don't understand. Even though the game has been out since 2016, the hype train has not died once. Millions of people around the flat earth still play this game, even people you don't even expect like your grandmother who's missing legs, and the police, which is exactly who is involved in this banger of a Pokemon Go disaster story. So on January 7th, two LAPD officers, that being the Los Angeles Police Department, or if you're stupid, the Louisiana Apple Picking Department, were essentially fired for playing Pokemon Go on the job. Now that's a pretty dumb reason to fire someone, right? Well, it gets worse. The two police officers ignored a call of a robbery taking place and were charged with multiple accounts of misconduct because of that. Yeah, both of these cops are pretty brain dead if you ask me. They ignored an important call from their boss just to go play Pokemon Go. Like any normal smart person would focus on the job and only dick around when they had free time, not while on the clock. The officers then denied that they were even playing the game in the first place, but a video from the patrol car revealed that the cops actively decided to not pick up the call from their supervisor. And court records detail that for 20 minutes the police officers were talking about Pokemon Go in the car as they drove to different locations to catch different Pokemon like Snorlax. Even in the car, one of the officers alerted the other officer that a Snorlax appeared on the minimap. Now eventually both cops caved in and admitted that they left to go find the Snorlax. They then tried to throw out the recording because they felt that the conversation was private and improperly acquired. So these two geniuses ignored a robbery where some lunatic was stealing someone else's property and could have potentially killed or harmed the victim just to go get a Snorlax. Then they had the balls to claim that using the footage as evidence was an invasion of their privacy. D Jesus Christ, they're really just hiring anyone these days, right? Like imagine your grandmother with no legs decides to go downstairs for whatever reason, but ends up falling to the bottom of the staircase and can't move. And while she's on the ground, a pack of wolves breaks into her house and surrounds her body. And while the wolves are surrounding her body, an ICBM is heading straight for the woman's house. She uses her life alert. The supervisor gets the call, alerts the police, and the police don't answer because a Snorlax is worth more than a woman without legs who is about to be eaten by a pack of wolves who are also about to be blown up by an intercontinental ballistic missile. I think that was probably the greatest example I have ever come up with. I should go to college. I'm really smart. Good job, me. But all of that for a Snorlax. Bro, do you know how many Snorlaxes I have on my own personal Pokemon Go account? Too many. I don't even know why I have so many. Maybe I thought that I could save them for future trades, but I don't have any friends. I don't talk to anyone. Who, who needs a Snorlax? Do you need one? We could have traded. I'm getting off topic. Basically, the moral of the story is that these cops aren't good for the job because they don't follow simple orders, and this is one of those stories where you could only laugh and hope that hardworking people are hired for the job next time instead of two inbred idiots. And I also wonder what happened with that robbery. Like, hopefully they sent someone to help that person, because if not, then oops. Anywho, thanks for coming to my TED talk. Like I said, if we hit 15 likes on this video, I'll make another video and upload it like in a couple hours. So please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new, click the bell icon, follow me on all of my social links, and join my zesty flaming hot discord server. Links are in the description below. Have a great day everyone, and remember to never play Pokemon Go and drink. I mean drink and drive. I mean, yeah. <laughs>